Are you all right, ma'am? Don't worry. That's why we're here. Listen, officer, if you just... Hi. Who caught a cold by looking at a stone and became anxious on seeing a landscape with no one in it, grew up thinking myself maimed. One day, a man stood next to my father. A tree cracked and my father fell. Clutching a stone, I resisted my father was being beaten up. That was the start of my perception of an unhappy world. There must, however, be more fruitful mistakes in bleeding nature. I grew up always sniffing out criminals. That is to say, such company is theirs. Everyone bears the burden of being a human child, yearning for companions to run away from home with. My anger over that was more than enough. A gang of pals contains the dimension of smell. The word world was nothing but raving to me, I who had spent my youth like a cur. Bleeding nature always overflows the allotments of history and sociology, and my gaze never wavered from it. The friends I made were, so to speak, inhabitants of the transparent, mechanical world without any ties to bleeding nature, and even without smell. I could not help seeing them as corpses. Isn't there some work that strews absolute putrefaction and graphic terror throughout the world? I have always thought I would like to put my hands to the axle of anger that sustains that kind of work. Today I am no longer a dog. Abe clumsily, Extremely clumsily, I'm definitely recovering. What, however, does my recovery signify? What on earth does recovery mean to me? Haven't I already recovered? Don't I continue to recover in order to be sick? In any case, my current situation is that of walking around a room with the windows wide open while holding a matchlock musket. I am desperately trying to escape from the cellar of the freedom of being tied and from the relationship between the ropes used for tying. I was frustrated in boyhood because of talk of an unfortunate plato de arroz con habichuela. One thing for sure, though, I will no longer be cheated by a bad check called democracy. No future correspondence will reach me from slightly soiled pigeons set free by society's hands, and I am enforcing silence, too, on my youth, when I was not even a dog, licking the wounds of capitalism. At any rate, I have a matchlock at the window. But for some reason, my finger does not reach the trigger. Is there any greater misery than entrusting a dream to a reality and continue the conversation between this my only life, and the universe. What I was unable to find even in childhood, I have at last just transformed into a living creature called a human being. 
In the outside world, criminals have always been forced to stand. In outside reality, they fully experience that here is nothing worthy of belief. From various standpoints, a family for them cannot be a single unit where they are able to sit. First of all, I posit to begin with a composition in which I stand and they are made to stand. I walk and they are made to walk. All of a sudden, they run and I too run. I fall down, they run. They get up without any injury from where they fell. Why? It's a place where they get up different from that where I get up bleeding. It is futile, in the end, to question what causes my activities to constantly erode. Human remodeling. Human remodeling is accomplished only in connection with young people who unceasingly experience the natural movements that kick the matrix of today's good sense. I dream of such a criminal dance. There will no longer be any hesitation over torching theaters. To the open air, in real life, I will be able to become a second-rate murderer. I would like to have my own subjectivity, which wavers in mixing and confusing the imaginative process and the real-life process. I would like to be sitting, without even a passport, smack in the middle of a mistake. George Bataille said, Nakedness offers a contrast to self-possession. To discontinue our existence, in other words. He also said, It is a state of communication revealing a quest for a possible continuance of being, beyond the confines of the self. Bodies open out to a state of continuity through secret channels that give us a feeling of obscenity. Stripping naked is seen in civilizations where the act has full significance, if not similar to the act of killing, at least as an equivalent shorn of gravity. 